welcome back to Life and Style by Liz. I have not done a makeup video, you guys, in so, so long. Aren't these earrings cute? These came in, I'm getting right into it. These came in a five pack, I believe, for under $20. All these awesome earrings from Walmart. So I'll make sure I link them below. This is what the five pack looks like. So, so cool. This is the first pair I've worn. Of course, I grabbed the white and gold because you guys know I'm loving white accessories this year. Anyway, and then I'm wearing this shirt from Express. I think I'll stand up at the end of this video and show you my complete outfit. And of course, I will link everything for you guys below. Okay, what have I done already to my face? We are gonna do a simple holiday look. I'm gonna put these pieces back. I'm gonna show you too. Look at the curls I have in the back, you guys. Do you see all that wave? I've got something heating up to show you guys. And I know a lot of you ask me how I do my hair. Now, I already did my hair. I'm just gonna demonstrate a piece. This is not gonna be a get ready with me video really. I've already put on my foundation. This is my powder foundation. It's a mess. I broke the lid off. I dropped it. So I already did my foundation. I actually use the sponge that comes with it. I just sweep it on you guys. That's it. This is so simple. I used to spend so much time with liquid foundation. So this is by e.l.f. It is called the Camo Powder Foundation. Love the coverage. It's buildable. I also have combination skin. So right here, I like to in on the sides of my nose. Soak everything up. Light 280 neutral. And I'll make sure to put that all down in the description box below, like everything else. And I already did my eyebrows. I was an e.l.f. brow pencil lover for years. But lately, I like the Maybelline Express Brow Ultra Precise Slim Pencil, this one right here. But I've had my eyebrows microbladed probably now three years ago. And I just kind of follow the little stencil that she made because microblading micro does fade. And I keep saying I'm going to get it touched up, but you know, who's got the time? But I like this pencil because you can do those little short strokes. And I also used this. This is an eyeshadow base for my eyelids, just so that your eyeshadow stays. So I am using Matte for Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Nude Mood by e.l.f. And I just went in with the first color right here. I like to put an all over sort of nude color on my entire lid. For doing a holiday look, I thought I would come in with some shimmer. I normally don't wear a ton of it. There are no rules. If you guys like shimmer, you can wear shimmer, but I'm gonna stick with the nude shimmers. And this palette is called Fully Loaded, and it is by Revlon, you guys. I am gonna go in with this second color here. It's gonna cut in with that color, sort of all over above my eyeball. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. All right, you guys, you see that shimmer? Very pretty. Now I need to come in with a darker color, this color here, and I'm gonna do that in the corners and then in the crease. All right, you guys, what do you think so far? I have to clean it up. It's kind of smudged and all over the place but I think I can fix that up. You can see how I went over a bit on the inner corners there. I'm gonna clean that up. So sometimes I just kind of go back in with that nude color and a clean brush and just kind of clean it up where I went a little crazy, carve it out. I always want light to be at the center here. Just kind of clean that up a bit. I don't want everything so dark. I think that's pretty. It's it's kind of subtle, right? I come in with my favorite concealer. You guys, there's no fantastic concealer, I'm here to tell you, when you have aging skin. But I do like the Maybelline eraser. I don't know, I've been using it forever. And it's got the sponge tip. I just come in in the corners a bit. And then right here is how you lift. Look at that. See that lift? This is really where you're gonna get the dark shadow. So that I like to blend with my fingers for concealer because I can use my middle finger and it's a light touch and it gives me more coverage that way. 
by the way, if you notice, I'm going all the way up into my hairline. That will give you that lift all the way up. Do you see that? All right, next I'm gonna do my bronzer. Physicians Formula All-Star Palette. I showed you guys this last Wednesday. It has all the highlights, um, bronzers, and a pretty blush. And first thing I'm gonna do is take a brush. Now I will link, um, there's a brush set on sale at Walmart. That's awesome. I'm gonna use this matte color here. And I just go right in and warm up my cheeks way up high. Lower that forehead a lot. <laughs> Again, this may not be something you guys have to do. Then I come in and I carve out my jawline to make that look better. Now, when you're carving out your jawline, you don't want to just do it under. You want to show a bit of that bronzer and then drag it down. But if you notice, all of the light from the concealer that I used off camera, I used some around my nose, above here and below here, is all to the center. You want to draw light. Even when I did those the lighter eyeshadow, you want to draw light to the center of your face and then warm up everything surrounding that because that's how you get a more youthful look. Then I take the smaller brush and I contour my nose a bit, coming down the side so it looks nice and straight and thin. See that? So anything you do that's dark is going to make that retreat. So a little under there, and it makes the nose look like a tiny button. Do you see that? Next, I'm going to come in with the Happy Booster Glow Blush right at the corner of this palette. I'm telling you, I'm loving this palette. And I'm just going to go high as I can and stick to the apples. Little dot there. That just really brightens everything up. Then I'm going to come in with my highlighter. I use a brush like this for my highlighter. Again, I will link a brush set that I know for sure is on sale. Not on sale, but good deal at Walmart. This one right here, I showed you if you watched me on Walmart Wednesday. What a great highlight that is. Do you see that light come right to the center of my face? Above my lip. Up here, a little highlight. See that glow? just makes you look nice and dewy and it also this light just totally makes your cheekbones pop now I'm gonna come in with my kabuki brush I also showed you guys this and I'm gonna blend because you don't want every single thing that you just used to look separate you want it all blended in as much as possible there was nothing on this brush I do my eyeliner should I attempt to do it with you guys I hear you you're saying yes we want to see one of my favorite eyeliners is the Maybelline hyper easy it's got a felt tip and it's fairly easy, I mean, this is never easy, to draw your wing liner. I'm gonna go ahead and do it quickly. How's that look, you guys? All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my other one. And by the way, you guys, I forgot to mention that I do have eyelash extensions. They haven't been filled in two and a half weeks, so they're kind of sparse today, but I won't be adding any mascara or false lashes for that reason. All right, you guys, both eyes have liner on them. These eyes are not perfect <laughs> by any stretch, but I hopefully you'll get something out of this video. I'm just gonna come in here with this clean brush and just kind of blend. I noticed off camera, it's hard to look, you know, with all these lights and stuff that they could use a good blending. So make sure you have a clean, uh, eyeshadow brush that you could just do a quick blend, especially when you're using colors like these. I'm putting on now the Rimmel Scandalize High Waterproof Gel Pencil and I line my waterline. Most people don't. I just do. It's, I don't know if it, is it because I'm from the, you know, started wearing makeup in the 80s maybe? I don't know. Remember the old, you guys are going to crack. Here's your retro moment for the week. Remember the old coal eyeliners? getting the lighter out, lighting it, because they were not, you know, super like, they couldn't, they didn't glide on very well. They'd be almost like a lead pencil. <laughs> How funny, please comment below if I'm not alone and someone remembers doing that. So there, that's how I like my eyes. I love eyeliner, you guys. I think for me, it's the thing I can't live without. You know, sometimes people will ask you, what's the one makeup item you can't live without? Eyeliner. See this little guy? This is called a glitter single. Um, wet and wet. It's so dirty. How embarrassing, you guys. 
Don't have me do makeup videos anymore. This is, I should have just done lip combos. This is why I do lip combos only. Anyway, this little guy is a little shimmer and it's kind of like gel almost, eyeshadow. And I just put it on my finger. Look at that pretty, it's like a coppery, almost metallic. And you can just dot it in the center. Again, holiday look, look at. And it just gives you that little bit of glitter. You, you're not gonna blend it, you're just gonna dot it on with your fingertip to get a pretty glow. So there you go. All right, let's get to these lip combos. The face is done. Oh, coming in with Bear With Me by NYX. You can use, this stuff is great, you guys. I'll link it for you because it can act as a primer. Now you're really supposed to go X and then a T. That's how they say you get your whole face. You haven't been here for a while. You may not have seen my fan. This helps me to dry anything that I put on my face. I really, really love the eyeshadow. Let's hope here, I'm gonna stop for a second. It turned out as lovely on camera as it looks in the mirror here. All right, what lip combo are we gonna do? Okay, this is a simple holiday look. Let's start with Milani Nude Entrance. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna line just over your natural lip line in the center only. I am gonna come in with Peachy, and this is Maybelline Vinyl Ink in the color Peachy. It is Peachy. Now let's give it a center highlight. You can do one of two things for your center highlight. You can come in with Glossy, or you can come in with something matte. I'm gonna go glossy just because this is a super stay and sometimes these get dried out. So I'm coming in with Filler Instinct in the color Sparkling Please, and this is by NYX. And I'm just gonna hit it in the very center. That's lip combo number one. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. We're gonna come back and do lipstick or lip combo number two. All right, guys, wipe that one off and we are back with combo number two. And I'm coming in with my fave, Totally Toffee. You knew Totally Toffee was coming out. And the Totally Toffee. You guys saw how in the center I go just above and just below and then follow my natural lip line down the side. Let's come in, let's do a nice matte look, a pinky beige. This is called Ferris Nude, and it's by L'Oreal. This one, you guys, I wore for years. Early 2000s, which is back. That was back when you like got one lip, you guys are, comment below. Remember when you would get one lipstick color and you would wear it for years? <laughs> like there was no, oh, I need to go find some fun new lipstick, it was, my lipstick's low, I have to pick it up, number, whatever. You knew the number and everything. I like to have sometimes a contrast. So I'm loving this. Coming in with Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. This is the one that has hyaluronic acid in it in the color Crystal. Look at that. Since I had sort of a pinky nude on, I hit it with this that has like a coppery color. And I think that looks good with my eyeshadow also. What do you guys think? Let me wipe this off. I'll be right back. I'm back with no lips. Just like that, my lips are gone. All right, let's do another combo. You guys have seen this one before, Wet n Wild Brandywine. This one is great. I'm watching my daughter come in from the bus because even though it looks so dark, it goes with so many different shades. All right, you guys, this one is a little rough um, number one, it needs to be sharpened, and number two, it is more of the old-fashioned sharpened pencil, so your lips have to really be hydrated, and because I'm putting foundation and wiping off my lipstick, I should have done this one first. It wasn't gliding on as well, but it's on, and it's great. Once it's on, it stays on. So that was Wet n Wild Brandywine. I'm with something moisturizing. My lips are begging me. 
So let's try this one. This one is Glow Paradise in the color Nude Heaven. These Glow Paradise colors, you guys, are great because they're super hydrating. They're almost like a lip balm in a lipstick. I think that's actually how they're marketed. It feels like heaven after <laughs> my lips being so dry. But do you see how that Wet n Wild just immediately looks good with it? That feels great. So I love the mattes. I love the long wears because, you know, you know you can count on them, you can eat, they're still gonna be there. Back when we were masking, they were the ones that stayed on all day. But sometimes you just want moisture, especially in the wintertime, brought to your lips. The Glow Paradise are great. So this is in, again, Nude Heaven number 130. Then for the center, maybe we should go a little bit matte. So I haven't used this one in such a while. You guys know it used to be my favorite. It's the e.l.f. The color is just cream. And it's like a very light pink, beigey pink. And I'm just gonna put it in the center like this. And you can see that it works. It gives me dimension. So I've got the darker lip liner then I filled in with that lip balm type lipstick and then hit the center with the matte. All right, you guys, you are gonna be excited because I decided to do five. So I just did three, this is number four. I'm gonna do a red at the end to see if you guys like it. Someone wrote in the comments that when you get older, you should have color in your lipstick and I get that. Um, I just don't like myself in red, but I'm gonna let you guys be the judge. All right, coming in with another fave. Again, I've had this one for years in my stash. This is Revlon Nude. So there's that. All right, I'm gonna do L'Oreal Infallible in a Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the color 822 Caramel. There it is. This is a dark nude with a pinky hue almost to it. It's pretty. I can tell you right now it's gonna dry up though which will make it long lasting. For the middle, I wanna come in with something moisturizing. How about Liquid Catsuit by Wet n Wild and Send Nudes? Don't send nudes. There have been attempts. <laughs> Check this out though. This is a very um, like beigey nude and it will lighten this up and also give me some moisture. To me, it's more like a gloss. And I do, this will take like oranginess out or lighten up something dark. I do like it for that reason. And there's that. What do you guys think? I just gave you four different nude lip combos, all of them affordable. So I honestly have so many variations. Haven't used any of these yet. Have not used any of these yet. And there's a whole thing of center glosses as well. I really, really could go all day long with these combinations, you guys. I just love lipstick. Lipstick is always fun to change. I forget what year it was. It might have been when we were in recession, like 2008, 2009. And, you know, sales and everything were down, but sales of lipstick were up because women like to switch up their lipstick to brighten their mood or lift their day or whatever. And I've done it myself, so I totally get it. I'll be grocery shopping on a Sunday thinking, work, 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 Sunday scaries, misery, trumpet of doom, the end of the world is coming. But if I get a lipstick, I get kind of excited. That and a couple pieces of chocolate, I can't lie. 2023 is coming, that's when we're gonna start fresh, right? We're in the holiday season, okay? It's indulgence. Let's indulge in lipstick, uh, looking our best, couple pieces of chocolate, we're not hurting anyone. All right, so this was the last nude combo. It's really pretty. I'm going to wipe this off. We're gonna do a red, then I'm gonna show you my whole outfit. Guys, I had to pop back on here. You won't believe that I just tried to wipe this whole thing off, look. So if you need something long lasting, L'Oreal Infallible. Now, I know that I can go into the bathroom and get it off with my like eye makeup remover easily, but I'm just showing you, watch. It loves me, it wants to live here. I'll be back. All right, you guys, went in the bathroom. I used my eye makeup remover, came right off. I'm coming in with NYX Sienna. 
this is red. I don't even know if I have, well, we'll look and see what I have, right? with red so came in with that we have two reds you guys this one is matte traction red it's a matte red oh that is pretty let's just use this because the other one i have is a mac in matte traction red number 403 and this is by l'oreal and there it is <laughs> this is what you guys wanted now I'm gonna lighten it up a bit in the center. I feel like a clown. What do you guys think? Maybe if I did, had a different um, eye look going, I wasn't planning on doing red. If I had more of a clear nude on my eyes, I would still have all the liner on it, I'm not gonna lie. Coming in with Rev Revlon Super Lustrous, the gloss, and all that glitters, glitters, glitters. I'm hoping it lightens it up in the center. Okay. I feel that it gave it some dimension instead of it just being a flat red. What do you guys think, honestly? But it's not horrible. I just feel like I'm just not used to it maybe. And um, it's a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's leave it on so we can let you guys can laugh at me and I can show you how I get my hair this curly. Um, I did a get ready with me video and I will make sure to link it below for you guys if you wanna watch it because I demonstrated how this hair dryer by Savani works. And I do have a discount code. I'm gonna put it all up on the screen because of course I don't remember. But this is a dupe, you guys, for the Dyson. So if you guys are, have, again, any females, teenagers or otherwise who have thick hair or who just want their hair dried really quickly, this is great. This is the Savani and it's got three different settings either cool low or high it's lightweight you guys look at this it dries my hair i'm not kidding you half if not the quarter of the time from my my old hair dryer which was also a good hair dryer it also comes with this dif um, diffuser right isn't that what they're called for the curly hair this thing here comes off if you wanted to and i think it's great uh so use my discount code get this it's a great gift hopefully there's still time or get it for yourself Put that aside, but by the same company, you guys, is this curling iron. And I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. Brush this piece out. Wait to see this. So I come up at the top. Let me fix that. It's hard for me to do this on camera. Turn it. I turn it a couple times. And then, you guys, I hit the button. Of course, I hit the wrong one. And do you see it? It turns for me. Loosen it up for, it's got left or right for the buttons. And I know you guys are like, well, can't you just turn the iron yourself? And that's because that's what I was thinking. But guess what? It gives you a tighter curl that lasts because, look at that. I just did that, you guys. Is that not amazing? I don't, okay, am I gonna hit the right button? Yes, I did. Look at that, you guys. Or if you want to loosen it, go up a bit. Look at that curl. I cannot get a curl like that with a regular curling iron, you guys. This again is by the same company, Savani. It gets hot, you can control your temperature. I've got it at 410, it's got a digital panel. You can see I can lower it just that easy. It heats up quickly, absolutely love it. And I will make sure, again, you can use my discount code on it as well. I will make sure to link it below. And it does automatically shut off after a while. So if you go to work and you realize, OMG, I left Savani on, Savani's gonna shut himself off, don't worry. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am gonna stand up, adjust the tripod and show you what I'm wearing. And I cannot wait to take this red lipstick off. All right, you guys, back with my full outfit. Not getting used to the red lips anytime soon. Sorry, not sorry. So take a long, hard look. You probably won't see them again until next Christmas. I'll show you once a year. Um, but anyway, I've got my Express Mid-Rise 
flared jeans on and this lighter wash. They've got the raw hem at the bottom. I did throw on my clear studded sandals. Now, I know it's winter time, but if you're going to an indoor event and it's kind of mild where you live, throw these on. If not, we all own black booties. Throw your booties on. You can even wear the off-white cowboy booties um, from here. I don't know how many sizes are available. I am in love with mine, but you know, I think the sizing is starting to get limited on those, but they would match the white cloud bag that I will link for you. This bag is adorable. I've shown it to you a million times and it comes in many, many different colors as well. And I love the way it looks with these earrings. I think that is so cute. So not all matchy matchy, but these two items match. And I think that looks really, really cute. Um, and I'm wearing the Velvet uh, Express Bustier, what is this called? Bustier tube top, sort of. It's got that nice stiff boning in there. It stays up on its own. And in the back as well, it has the boning. I love it. It's padded in front. You don't need to worry about wearing anything underneath. I think it's adorable and flattering. I love the sweetheart neck to it. These are so on trend. And if you feel funny, just make sure you wear them with either a cardigan or a blazer like this. Now, I'm hoping I can link this for you. This is from Walmart. I purchased it last year, but I do believe that they are still available. And I love the cut on this. It's in a faux leather. I'll show it to you. Buttoned, so, so flattering. I love how it stays open right there. So it sort of accentuates your weight. All right, you guys, I know I'm not the best at doing makeup videos, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications that we will be notified each and every time I upload a video. I'm running to the bathroom now to get rid of this red lipstick. I hope you all have a great two days and I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Bye everyone. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.